This is John with MOBA. We're going over the features in the technician's menu here. The first thing you show is the hydraulic. It can be PRH, which is proportional, BB.H with bang bang high, BB.L for bang bang low. Select what you want. We're going to go with proportional. Hit the set button to go to the next menu. Right here, this little upside down U slash underscore C is your min current going up. Look at that little U as being the tip of an arrow going in the up direction. The next thing is the min current down, the little u underscore c, so it's minimum current going down. You have a big upside down u underscore c, the next one, that's your max current going up, and the next one is your max current going down. Here's where we put calibrate. Do we want it in centimeters? Do we want it in inches? We're going to put that in inches. Our resolution, that's how your slope sensor is going to read out. Do you want it in tenths? You want it in you know five hundredths, you know two hundredths. Typically, I'll leave it in tenths so it's not so reactive. Your numbers aren't constantly moving, but feel free to put it wherever you want. SES, SE dot five is what people say a lot of the time. That's actually sensitivity. We put that on. If you turn that off, dead band to proportional band will show up on the front menu in the operators menu. Use you get ST dot A is standard. You H underscore A, that's for mil sometimes for half auto. Run a paper, we'll leave that at STA. POS is position factor, that is used on some mills. We leave that off because unless you have the numbers to properly set that, you might create more issues than you will actually you know, solve problems. ESA, that's external stop auto. That goes back to your lever where if, if it's in forward motion or in neutral, that is pin J on your bulkhead connector. Some machines you know, have that either power coming to it when you're in neutral or power going to it when you're in forward motion. Type limit, you can set your you know, controller out here up to I think it's 40 different machines. You can have 40 different hydraulic settings put in here. Typically I'll leave that at one because we're only setting it up for one machine. If you have numerous machines, you can, you can name machine that be, machine one could be a Caterpillar, machine two could be a Rotec machine and you know so on and so on but typically if you're only going to have it on one machine i will leave that at one sad that's how many devices do you have hooked up to your can bus network that is something a feature that should not be in there is this but when they put this in here years ago they had to have that set up there for the big ski but make sure that number is always at eight cyc that's your cycle count 4.28 055, that's actually the software version of the controller. And we're back to hydraulic. Hold down the automatic button and it'll kick you out and we're back to the main menu.